no one enterprise, whether it's public or private, can do this job by themselves. They can do bits of it, but it's only when we work together that we realise the advantages uh, of local contact, local knowledge, the wider uh, expertise that comes from particularly big operations, or the local voluntary sector who, who are deeply embedded and draw out contributions from local people. If you can bring all those things together, then you've got a winning formula. And that's not just a nice theory. It's something that we have achieved uh, in many places uh, uh, across this country. And that kind of partnership approach, I think, has got to underline how we deliver services. What public services want now, what councils want, are outcomes. And the important thing is, how do we get uh, better attainment in schools, people that can have economic futures, how can we have people that can age well and enjoy, and enjoy growing older. To get those outcomes, who provides services is less important than how do we make sure that we've got high quality at the right cost. And we've got a lot to learn from um, other sectors and other sectors can make a fantastic contribution to us. One example we uh, have gathered from Northumberland is where the Sure Start uh, operation and the fire service share premises, uh, and that does two things. First of all, it keeps in business two services that would otherwise in that local community have had to close, uh, and it saves uh, costs and keeps the community building in, in use, which might otherwise have just been closed and abandoned. So uh, lots of examples of how better to work together delivering better cost and value on the one hand, but most importantly, better service for, for local people on the other. I saw a lovely example recently in, in Melton Mowbray, Melton Borough Council, the district in Leicestershire, uh, where their education hub helps young people that have been in antisocial behaviour and not doing very well at school into career paths. And the secret of this social enterprise is that the quality of it is exceptional. The feel of it was young people who don't usually like going to school and don't enjoy the institution of school like the way that they were treated with respect but expected to work. And the innovation was this is a social enterprise. This started out with the council helping it to happen but in order that they grow and can move into other business areas they've formed a business and they're running it as a social enterprise and to produce that degree of quality uh, and getting young people into career paths I thought it was fantastic. What uh, community budget says is take the, uh, the the shackles off local government, off the health service, off police, get them in a room together, pool their money and say, this is the problem we're jointly trying to tackle. I can do this bit, you can do that bit, uh, someone else can do the other bit. And jointly, we join that up. The problem is that not everyone is playing by those uh, rules. So I think a great idea, but we've got a long way to go to make it a reality. They're important because we're wasting public money at the moment. Uh, uh, the total place pilot showed that a family in multiple deprivation might have 20 different agencies and 20 different professionals all meet visiting them about the same thing. And the funding streams for this come from different government departments and yet they're all happening locally. And community budgets are about how do we pool that money in order that there's a joined up delivery and that actually the person doing that can also do that and can do that according to what's needed by the clients. Government will devolve money that usually it makes decisions on in our localities. Government will devolve that money in order that we can commission things from the voluntary sector or the private sector or ourselves. We can commission things to join up delivery and make sure that we've got fewer players on the pitch.